guys and if you have been watching my channel uh, for any length of time now you know that I have a 2021 Jayco Pinnacle fifth wheel and um, I love it and I spend a lot of time camping in it and I spend a lot of time um, working on it and creating it just uh, my little haven for when I want to go out and camp. Uh, be it me by myself or with the dogs or with the entire family. So uh, my 2021 Jayco Pinnacle fifth wheel is something I enjoy uh, working on, uh, using it and um, to that extent, I want to share with you three today that I thought were quite creative, uh, that have really worked for me well and that I enjoy. But also if you have modified your own RV, uh, fifth wheel, trailer, motorhome, class A, class B, class C, or even your vehicle. Um, if you wouldn't mind sharing that in the comments below, uh, we will all um, learn from it and get some ideas. Without any further ado, let's get to it and um, I'll show you the first modification. So the first modification uh, I wanted to show you is something that was totally necessary and it solves a problem that I had with uh, the refrigerator on uh, in my fifth wheel and how crazy that they built or they install not built they install this beautiful refrigerator uh, in an RV but without any sort of latch there's no latch on here there's nothing to keep it closed other than just the normal suction from a refrigerator closing and opening so totally fine if you're stationary, but when you're bouncing and moving down the road and it's like a earthquake back here, um, your refrigerator door can fly open. And if you've ever had this happen, you know what a mess that makes. So we were traveling one day and I did not have any sort of latch system on here. I just hadn't thought too much about it. And inside the refrigerator i actually had um some heavy items here that obviously when i shifted around a corner opened up the refrigerator and i have a bluetooth sensor that alerts me when the refrigerator is open and um unfortunately that uh, i either didn't hear it or didn't pay attention to it it and so when i arrived at my campsite um the refrigerator door was open and there was eggs all over the floor there everything from the fridge had come out and it was a mess and um, we had just started our camping uh, journey for the the week and so a lot of the food that we brought was destroyed from that not only that when this door came open both doors both top doors came open this door actually hits this cabinet so I have some magnets on here that are actually covering some nice little dings I have in my, you can see one right there in my refrigerator from um, swinging open. Uh, that was a create, that's a little tidbit I will give you right now, I'll share with you. If you have, instead of replacing the whole entire door, um, you could do something like that. But I don't want to make my refrigerator full of magnets and pictures, but these serve a purpose by covering um, covering some dings without having to replace the whole door. And it, it actually looks artistic, I think. And these are obviously my dogs and pictures of our travels. But anyway, back to the modification. So I had to come up with a solution on how to um, how to keep the doors shut during travel. This Jayco, they did make, if you can see here, there's a button here. And they did make a strap that comes around the door and snaps here. However, I didn't have that snap or that strap. It didn't come with my RV. And um, when I called Jayco, they didn't seem to know what I was talking about. I've seen some other um, door latches that you can purchase um, uh, to keep doors closed, door locks, that sort of thing. But I actually discovered this sort of latch from someone who owned this exact trailer, and this is what he did. So let me share that with you. So what we did to keep these doors closed is basically we got a piece of metal here, 
I'm not sure how thick it is or thin, but it's pretty thin. Sturdy though. And then I went to Ace Hardware and we got this um, snap set. And uh, basically we uh, drilled through the metal here and installed the, the snap set. And then on top of the refrigerator here, I don't know if you can see that here and here. So these two um, snaps are the other part of the set. And we, we uh, gently screwed into or uh, drilled into the top of the door and uh, installed those. And so now when we travel, before we go, we take this and... Take this and we snap it right on top. And so now these doors can't open at all. It's worked great. We just unsnap it when we arrive and we keep it in a safe spot. But I will leave the link for the um, snaps that we used uh, that I got at Ace Hardware. Um, I did find that. This piece of metal um, we did buy there too as well. You can just look for something yourself. And then um, just install up on top and be careful when you drill into the top of the fridge and it's all good. That's our modification number one that solved the problem of the doors opening during travel. And modification number two I wanted to talk about because it solved an issue that we had. And that is this table was getting fine scratches in it. And um, this is our dining table area. And I, you know, I didn't, I just wanted to protect it as best as I could. Um, I know uh, you could do like a tablecloth, but during tr travel, the tablecloth would fall off. I don't really like a tablecloth. I like the look of it as it is right like that. Um, I had thought about doing plexiglass on the top, but that's heavy. And again, during travel, if it fell off, it would damage something or possibly break. Um, placemats. I did do placemats for a while, um, but they fall off during travel. They're kind of a pain. It doesn't cover the whole table. And um, I didn't really like the look of them as well. So we came up with this solution. And... Basically, this fits right on top of our table and it covers a whole table and it looks like it was built for the trailer. Um, so I went to Michael's and got, this is just a piece of um, project, like it's almost a, a felt, it's not rubber, it's almost like a felt type of. Um, backing for uh, a project, maybe like for poster board. Um, I got it at Michael's. And then these are actually placemats. So I cut these placemats to fit on top of the backing. And then we just used hot glue, a hot glue gun, and glued it together. And it doesn't move. It stays on the, during travel. It doesn't fall off. And totally looks appropriate it looks nice actually and uh, protects the table so uh, i don't have the link for uh, what i used at michael's but you can find at any craft store something like this and then just do uh follow suit with what i did on your own table it's just take my idea and you can find your own items that will work for you but if you like this video, I would appreciate it if you wouldn't mind subscribing, uh, share the video, and uh, actually hit the like button um, and the notification button. I'm coming out with new content weekly, and um, I appreciate you watching the video and taking your time to be here today. And again, if you wouldn't mind subscribing, that will help my channel grow and um, be able to produce more content like this. So here I am in the bathroom of our pinnacle, and... Um, I love this bathroom. I love everything about it except for one thing. And I'm not quite sure why Jayco did not do this, but right there in the cubby where the towels are, there's no door. 
Why they didn't put a door in that cubby, I have no idea. Maybe uh, because of the um, shelf ledge here, it would have been too hard to open and get into. That might have been the reason. Um, these these are fine because, you know, I just can put some towels there. But this is actually storage way back in there. And um, it's a nice uh, little area to store things. So I didn't want to have stuff in there showing. And it looked crappy to have it open. So, um Here's what I did. And there's my area without what you think is towels. However, they're not. This is what we did. So we just actually took a pool noodle and we wrapped, we bought a towel, cut the towel, wrapped the pool noodle. So I cut the pool noodle, this is three pieces. I cut them and then wrapped the towel around the pool noodle and used hot glue gun to secure them together and to glue the towels onto the noodle. And then for the backing, I just used uh, paint, uh, paint stir sticks. And then this is how they go. And no one, believe me, no one knows when they come into RV that no one knows that these are not towels. There's one. The other one goes up on top of here like this. And there you go. Instead of a door, a curtain, it looks like towels. It <laughs> looks totally clean. And that solved the problem of hiding that area and everything that's behind it without having to install a door or a curtain or something cheesy looking. So there you have it. I hope these three modifications were gave you some ideas for your own um, RV or your own travel trailer. And so until next time, I hope these tidbits for your own journey will help you out and I will see you again. Thanks, bye.